The latest there in the Enoch Burke case is the school has gone to the High Court and they have made an application to uh, have him attached or for an attach attachment and committal order against Enoch Burke, which is going to be heard on Friday of this week. So today is Wednesday. On Friday, the latest application could see him going back to jail, Enoch Burke going back to jail for the third time. They've asked the High Court for orders that could see him going to jail for the third time for contempt of court and for breach of a permanent injunction. The vacation sitting, remember the High Court is closed at the moment, so there's a vacation sitting today on Wednesday. The school's board of management, represented by Rosemary Mallon, Bachelor of BL, secured permission to bring a motion seeking the County Mayo teacher's attachment and possible committal to prison, arising out of his failure, alleged failure, to comply with a permanent injunction to stay away from the school. The school has made its application after the teacher, who is appearing, appealing a decision to dismiss him from his job, started attending in the grounds of the school in recent days while students and staff returned in preparation for the new school year. Council said that last Thursday the school's board had become most anxious after Mr Burke started attending at the school in breach of the terms of the injunction that prevents him from trespassing at the school. The school was particularly concerned over an alleged incident where it is claimed Mr Burke entered a room in the school's main building where teachers were holding a staff meeting in respect of the school's transition year class. The school is concerned as it was difficult to monitor Mr Burke when he was on the campus, council said. Council said also that there was another concern and that was to do with the third parties that started attending outside the school in relation to the continuing situation with Mr Burke. So there was a guy there, I saw it on Twitter the other day, there was two guys standing outside the school waiting to talk to Enoch Burke. Uh, Philip Dwyer, I think, was one fella, I can't remember the other fella's name. And um, they were looking to talk to Mr Burke, but, you know, they were probably jumping on the bandwagon, quite frankly, and trying to get in on the piece of the action. The matter came before the judge today on an ex parte basis and uh, it granted the school permission to serve short notice of the attachment and committal proceedings on Mr Burke. The matter will return before the court on Friday. Normally with legal proceedings it sometimes it can be difficult to find somebody to serve them. In this case, let's face it, it's not going to be hard for the school's legal team to find Mr Burke given that he's probably going to be standing uh, on the premises outside, uh, outside the building. But they have short notice, they must serve him, and then it's back before the court on Friday. The German and history teacher, he was released from Mountjoy Prison, where he spent over 400 days in two different stints in late June, without purging his contempt. He was warned by the judge at that stage, though, Mr Justice Mark Sanfi, that the courts would have no hesitation in sending him back to prison if you were again found to have breached the court order. So you would have to assume that the odds are, if you're a betting man or woman, he'll be going back to prison after Friday. The teacher is in an ongoing dispute with, Lee, uh, with Wilson's Hospital School over what he claims was his refusal in 2022 to comply with the school's direction to call a den student by a different name and to use the pronoun they. He's claimed that he's been in prison because he's being punished for his religious beliefs and his opposition to transgenderism. He denies all wrongdoing doing against him and he says his constitutional rights were breached by the school's direction to refer to a student by a different gender. He was last jailed in early September 23 over his refusal to comply with the permanent injunction made the previous day made by uh, Mr Justice Alex Owens. He did not appeal that co order to the Court of Appeal but he did make an application earlier this year to the High Court seeking to set aside the injunction on the grounds that it was flawed and unconstitutional. So here's the decision of the High Court, which Burke is arguing was flawed and unconstitutional. This was the permanent injunction warning him to stay away from the school, to keep away from the school. And yet he did not appeal that order to the Court of Appeal. Why not? Anyway, his application to the High Court, which was most unusual because he was asking one High Court judge to set aside the order of another High Court judge, that was dismissed by the High Court. So he was suspended from his teaching position in August 2022. He was dismissed ultimately. He has an appeal. The appeal, I understand, hasn't been heard yet or hasn't been dealt with yet. And if he's sent back to Mountjoy Prison, it's unlikely to be dealt with. I don't know what's going to happen then. He may well still be in receipt of his teacher salary. But if the appeal was held um, and he was unsuccessful, well, obviously the salary wouldn't be paid anymore. But until the appeal is finalised and finished and completed, then he's probably still in receipt of his salary. 
and the difficulty with the appeal process going ahead if he's jailed again next Friday means that his salary could continue, arguably. He was released in December 2022 as well without purging his consent, contempt. He started attending the school then after the Christmas holidays and a daily fine of 700 euros was imposed on him. However, arising out of his failure to stay away from the school when the 2023-2024 school year commenced, and considering Mr Justice Owen's order, he was again jailed for contempt. And that was 2023-2024 school year. This is 2024-2025, 12 months later, and the likelihood is he will be going back to jail again. I'm not certain about that, but the likelihood is he will be going back to jail again because he's clearly in contempt of court, and the judge has warned him about that. He's been warned repeatedly about that, and that is the situation. It'll be interesting to see what happens on Friday, but um, that's the story today, Wednesday.